with all the experience that you have, having been having served the city, as you took the oath of office just recently, can you share with us what you th think are what are the biggest challenges for the district right now? I think one of the biggest challenges among a number uh, will be managing growth. Uh, this city is growing rapidly, and not just growing, it's growing and diversifying in ways that we've never seen this diversity, at least in the recent past. Uh, we now, that most recent data I saw, we're now at uh, 671,000 people, which is the largest population this city has seen uh, in many decades, probably the 60s or the 70s. But it's not only just growing, it's also growing, uh, and frankly, you see the racial mix changing in the District of Columbia uh, rapidly. Uh, we have uh, no longer a majority African-American population, which is very different than what it's been uh, since probably the 60s or the 70s uh, in the city. And we have a lot of people, you know, we, 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 we both, you know, all three of us, uh, excuse me, worked in areas where, um, you know, we had to recognize that people are afraid of the future uh, at this point. You know, Council Member uh, Trayon White is representing Ward 8, which is a predominantly African American population. Yeah. Population of Ward 7 is predominantly uh, African American. And of course, Robert White, who ran all across the city, had to work hard in 7 and 8 uh, as well, which he did. So all three of us have the challenge of trying to figure out how in the policies that we promulgate, uh, that we promote, how do we try to assure people that there will be a place for them uh, in the District of Columbia? that there will be jobs for them, that kids will be educated, uh, that they will have opportunities uh, to be able to continue to live uh, in this city. Uh, the housing costs are going up uh, tremendously. I'm one of those who started the investment uh, in affordable housing of $100 million. The second year we put in $287 million. But although that sounds like a lot of money, when you start to do the math, you recognize that that really is a, a beginning mm -hmm. uh, at best in this process. So. You know, what we've got to be able to do, I think, all three of us and joining with our colleagues is to figure out how, as this is an increasingly diverse uh, city, an increasingly white city, frankly, how do we make sure that people who have invested themselves for decades have stayed the course to make the city what it is today, yeah. don't get pushed out and don't feel a part of the decisions that are being made?